a lot of, finan of financial technology has been developed for the last five to ten years. Blockchain, use of big data, and so on. Uh, and it's gradually being introduced into business and, and, and finance, finance and banking. Uh, and, and one question one might wonder is, should society have a view uh, on the speed which with, with which this technology is introduced? Should society try to speed it up? or slow it down, or not interfering, and leave that to the private sector? Yeah. Um, this is obviously a very uh, complex uh, question, because um, the I think it's imp the mo first thing, it's important that members of society understand the technology and don't feel threatened about it. And I'm talking about artificial intelligence uh, and machine learning, but also about the new blockchain technologies that you'll hear about, like distributed ledger, and also the coming one, which is smart contracts. The problem is that we're in a competition. Uh, we're in a competition with the United States, and actually, more importantly, with the Far East. And it isn't the, you could say the genie is out of the box, so it's important important that we experiment, understand how the technologies work, uh, and, under, and start new companies so that they're, opera uh, they're, they're starting here you know, in Sweden or in the United Kingdom or, or elsewhere in Europe, and not just flowing out to Singapore, Hong Kong, uh, uh, and uh, China. So therefore, I'm a great one of saying it, we need to experiment. You can't just go out and buy the technology because it's evolving so fast, and you need to experiment whether you're a business, whether you're you're a regulator, whether you're maybe a student interested in starting a new company, but also uh, equally the parents of the students who are, who are going to actually experience some of the disruption over the coming years. Is that okay? Okay. What, what is the state of, of affairs when it comes to use of financial technology and regulation today in, in supervision and, and in uh, compliance? The, um, I could say, I, you know, I'm a professor of computing, so um, uh, th I'm, uh, you know, a, a, a technophile, I should, I should say. Uh, but but there's, there's actually a huge amount uh, of innovation going on I in most major cities with, with uh, fintech startups and now regtech startups. Private sector. Is in, the, in, the pri in the private sector is certainly uh, driving it. And I think the governments in most, uh, you know, countries are actually... Uh, struggling to to catch up now the uh, this technology is being deployed uh, people are going to make mistakes in terms of you know putting in technology that doesn't work or uh, maybe it's even unethical uh, for example there's a lot of concern in the United Kingdom about the new generation of artificial intelligence algorithms and and there's a big discussions of how we regulate them and and how we actually have laws that may be governing the use of this technology and the reason is that you've got companies like uber that are using algorithms now to communicate with their staff, uh, it, to set their fares, to um, s even to actually fire them. In, in other areas, the, there's algorithms that, s that sift CVs, and we don't know whether these are unethical or illegal, you know, and, and we need to, uh, you know, uh, understand these technologies. And how do you expect... How far do you expect this uh, development to have gone in, in five years? From now? I, I, I think that we've got to recognize that something is significantly happening in society. And you'll find lots of people in big companies like l l big law firms and big insurance companies saying, we don't know what our business is going to look like uh, even in two or three years' time. So it's, that's why I was saying it's important for all of us, not just for the companies or the regulators, and the government, but as individuals, we've got to understand this technology and how it's going to actually affect our lives because it's happening and the speed of change is actually increasing all the time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.